Every company should be focusing 30, 40% of new revenue from existing customers. And so to your point, if your long-term roadmap and your product development strategy is not focused on expanding existing client relationships, right? And we're focusing on these shiny objects, these whales, and it's misdirecting our product development strategy. It's therefore misdirecting our resources, how we're training people individually, how we're selling against that product, everything, right? It has a, a complete ripple effect on everything. What you're saying, my takeaway here is that you're doing yourself an injustice to take on what can be very, very enticing to make this quarter's number, right? When we even know innately that this isn't the right fit and it's not going to direct us long-term, we're not going to be able to support it as well long-term. Tell me about some of the internal conversations and how do you talk internally about what's the balance? Because sometimes, especially with scale-ups, oh my goodness, do we need that money? <laughs> right? Do we need that revenue coming in? How do you handle that internally in the conversations amongst the C-suite? Yeah. As I mentioned, data definitely provides a lot of support there, starting with that because you take all of opinions off the table and you're now using information that comes from your own data to make those decisions. I think it's really important to be clear on what the long-term strategic objectives are of the business that starts in the C-suite. So if we're not aligned on that, we're not clear on where we want to take the company, it's going to be very difficult to stay true to that ICP match. I think there's also a conversation to be had, as we started to talk about earlier in the conversation, there's a discussion to be had about how you complement opportunistic deals. This isn't to say that you can only close deals in your ICP, because that's not the case at all. Yeah. But what is the decisioning criteria we're going to use to evaluate those enticing opportunities to make a decision about whether or not to take on new clients that don't necessarily fall within our perfect ideal customer profile? and understand how that might map to the longer term strategic goals for the business. If it feels completely out of left field, then naturally it doesn't make sense. But if it feels like it's all along the path, maybe a little bit early, or maybe an opportunity we hadn't thought about, but we can find some parallels to your ICP, and it could make a lot of sense. But it really is about being very clear on the future and also knowing where you've come from, and that's what the existing data will tell you.